2022. My name is Fatiha Mohammed Noor. Today on the diary, we have Shadrach Miti from RNM Studios to tell us, of course, what's happening with the KSP examinations that started yesterday. We also have Dalma Sakali to give us the Rift Valley diary, what's happening in Nakuru County and on what's trending. We have Atieno Owino to tell us what Kenyans are talking about on social media. I want us to start with Shadrach Miti. Shadrach, good morning. We know that the exam started yesterday. Are there any irregularities that were observed? Well, good morning, Fatia. Um, except for a few reports that we received over missing other sheets for particularly a grade six candidates, that's the Kipsea, there was nothing much that was reported on the first day of the KCP and Kipsea examinations. And, uh, and maybe the only other thing that came out in day one was uh, what you may consider a huge number of girls who sat their exams while pregnant or while expectant. But so far, what we received yesterday, and also we had some reports of uh, uh, maybe just in case uh, we had we had some fears earlier on that uh, maybe the issues around insecurity in areas around Baringa and Samburu would interfere with the examinations. But yesterday we had it from the uh, Samburu County Commissioner, Henry Wafula, who gave the assurance that yes, there was some little tension between the border of Samburu and Baringo, but that was sorted out. And so the examinations were administered in the most smooth way and they do not expect anything. And even he went further to confirm that should there be any challenge, be it logistical, be it movement of examination material because of rains and other terrain challenges, then there was uh, there were choppers standing by just to ensure that all examination centers are served with all examination material in right time to ensure that all candidates are tackling and going through the testing uh, process in the most effective manner. But. Uh, uh, we, we also had yesterday a situation where, uh, b back to the issue of uh, missing answer, sh answer sheets for uh, grade six learners, where we had reports that in some examination centers, uh, there were learners who, yes, they were ready to take, their, to take on their examinations, but now they lacked answer sheets. But now that one had to be sorted almost immediately. But now we later came to be told that, and that was from the uh, principal sector of basic education and early learning, Dr. Julius Joan, who clarified that the reason as to why some of the candidates were missing their uh, answer sheets were that uh, uh, the KIPSE examination, there is a registration for KIPSE examinations uh, took place while these uh, grade six learners were in grade three. And so in between there came Corona and some schools closed down. And in that process, some schools may have failed to pick details and, uh, and update the details on the registration of their candidates, which occasioned the situation where yesterday some of the candidates were missing their answer sheets. But uh, the, the government went ahead to say that it was not something to bring about any confusion or any tension because it was uh, sorted out almost immediately. And so we are expecting that uh, today again, uh, the assessments and the examinations will continue with uh, class 8 candidates. That's the KCP expected to start this morning. Already the examination is on. This morning they are tackling science paper. Then later they'll have Kiswahili Luga. Then later in the day, that is in the afternoon, they'll finish off with uh, Kiswahili Insha. On the other hand, uh, uh, grade 6 learners uh, are this morning expected to, hand, to tackle their uh, integrated science paper which includes agriculture home science and several other technical issues in within then they will finish off with the uh, kiswahili then they'll go home to rest but, but even as they do that we know very well that this examination fatia uh, began at a time when the country and particularly uh, grade six candidates and teachers all together had some questions around how the transition to grade seven will be taking place but this morning Remember, we've had high level um, uh, distribution of examination, including senior government officers led by the president himself, who this morning was at uh, Joseph Kangeda Primary School in Kibra. Then his deputy was in Komarok, at Komarok Primary School in Kayole. And they have all given the uh, clearest indication that by Friday this, this week, 
uh, the questions around uh, grade 7 uh, transition, that is unit secondary transition, will be sorted out when they will be releasing that uh, interim report by the by the uh, Presidential Working Party on Education Reforms, which was given among other uh, responsibilities to look at an assessment, a summative assessment of the CBC, with a view to giving clear guidelines on how a uh, grade six uh, or junior secondary transition will be uh, done. And so we're expecting that this Friday, based on the words by the president himself, who, who assured candidacy while at Joseph Kangede Primary School in Kibra, he gave them the clearest assurance that very soon they are going to clear out issues around a grade 7 transition. And on his part, the deputy president while at uh, uh, Komarok Primary School, uh, in fact, went ahead to say that by Friday that issue should be sorted out. And so, we are, although we know some of the uh, uh, recommendations that are in that report, but we are expecting that once the president... Uh, uh, makes an announcement over the same by this phrase we will have a settled and uh, a, a calmed uh, um, population of nearly 1.3 million uh, grade 6 candidates or learners who are yet to know exactly whether uh, whether next year they'll be in secondary school or they'll remain where they are but that's a subject that now we are rem remaining with only two days then the president will be coming out to speak out clearly because uh uh, one of the key uh, issues uh, around the uh, presidential working part is still on the same. I'm, 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 I'm still on the presidential working part on education reforms because it links directly to the uh, grade six assessment that is ongoing. Was that uh, they have to that the, the, the working party must give the president a, an interim report after every two months, and so we are expecting that uh, by the end of this week or next week, the two months will have elapsed since they came into office, and so that's why it's very necessary that uh, they do that so that even as we move away from these uh, national examinations for primary school candidates, then grade six uh, learners will be served well uh, to know even as they, move, they go home for the Christmas holidays, to know that come next year, they will be knowing exactly how they will be transitioning and in, in, in which schools they will be. So it's, uh, there, there are so many things that we are looking at, but basically that's it. And we're also keeping our eyes on what, should, what will be uh, transpiring today. If there are any instances, then we will be there to address them and to make sure that our viewers get to know and get to be told exactly everything just as we have done before fatia right thank you so much shadrach of course for just telling us of course what's happening with regard to the kcp examinations that started yesterday and is supposed to end tomorrow i want us to now talk to sakali dalmas in nakuru county sakali good morning what's happening in nakuru what's the latest